Hello and welcome to the SketchUp Style channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Quad Face Tools extension. This extension is a set of tools that allows you to model with quads inside SketchUp much more easily. So quads are faces with exactly four vertices and quad modeling is at the core of every single 3D application when modeling organic or hard surface objects. So this first tool, the Live Mesh Analysis, helps us to distinct quads from non-quads. When activated, quads turn green, triangles blue, and all the other faces with more than four vertices, the so-called n-gons, turn red. In SketchUp, we have a bit of a unique situation when dealing with quads, because the only way to actually have a quad in SketchUp is to have all four vertices laying on the same plane. So if I was to move this vertex up on the z-axis, SketchUp would break this quad and create these two triangles. Most of other 3D applications don't have this problem and are able to keep a non-planar quad. However, thanks to this extension and more precisely this tool right here, we can turn these two triangles in a quad. And this is done by telling SketchUp to soften and this way practically ignore this diagonal edge. So by using these softening techniques, uh, we are able to model quite easily with quads in SketchUp. But why would we even want to model with quads in SketchUp? Is probably your next question. Well, with these next quad face tools, I'll show you the benefits of quad modeling. So here we have a set of selection tools. This one enables you to select quad edges even if they're smooth. This one increments your selection by one adjacent quad. And this one does the inverse operation, decreasing your selection of quads. This one selects the whole ring and these next two incrementally expand or shrink the ring selection. This one selects the entire loop of edges and these next two incrementally expand or shrink the loop selection. This one flips the softened diagonal of the quad. This one triangulates the quads and this one removes the triangulation from planar quads. These two help you clean up the topology by building corners like this or building ends like this. We've already mentioned this one, but let's see it in action on more than just one quad. So here we have a net of triangles. You just need to select two adjacent ones and activate the tool, and SketchUp will automatically turn all connected geometry to a quad grid. This one turns wireframes into quad meshes. When we have a sandbox terrain, you'll notice that these quads are not green. So this tool turns them into quad face tools quads. If you're importing 3D models from Blender to SketchUp, this little monkey icon should turn Blender quads into quad face tool quads. This one here is the UV mapping tool. First, let's disable the live mesh analysis here so that we can apply a texture material to our model. If we were to use our simple paint bucket tool, you'd notice we'd get a scrambled texture. So with your geometry selected, select the material you want to apply and activate the UV mapping tool. Now choose where you want to set the origin point of the texture and then the red axis direction edge and the green axis direction edge. There you have it. You can even scale your texture by clicking and dragging on these two handles here. You can also copy and paste UV mapping. Just select the geometry of the UV mapping you want to copy Activate this copy tool, select the origin point and the red and green direction, and then select the new geometry, click on the paste button and select the origin point as well as the red and green direction again. That is it. This next tool unwraps or unfolds selected UV mapping grid to a flat mesh. I don't need to remind you that all these meshes need to be entirely made of quads for these UV mapping tools to work. These next two are fairly simple. This one smooths the quads and this one unsmooths them. This one adds a loop cut and this one 
removes one. Now this next tool creates new edges between adjacent pairs of selected edges. It's similar to adding a loop cut but with more options. When you activate the tool, you need to hold control and click and drag over the edges you want to connect. You can also remove edges by holding shift and clicking and dragging. When you're satisfied with your path, you can add more segments by clicking in this little dialog box and typing the number of segments you want to add. This other value you can set here, the pinch value, is controlling the distance between the segments that you create. The bigger the number, the bigger the distance between them, minimum value being negative 100 and maximum value 100. Press enter when you're done. And all that's left now is this last tool that simply splits one quad at a time by drawing a line from one edge to another. So this is everything you need to know about quad face tools. Thank you so much for watching and as always like and subscribe if you haven't already. I also wanted to inform you that I have opened a Patreon account uh, where you can get access to a download section of all my models from the past and future videos. There's going to be a section with a lot of unedited video footage of my workflow if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And there is also a possibility for Patreons to send a message to me directly about SketchUp related stuff or problems you might have with your models. Uh, the lowest membership is just $1 per month and it would help me a lot to keep making these videos for you guys. You can find the link for my Patreon page in the description of the video. If you choose to join my Patreons that would be fantastic but even if you don't, either way I appreciate every single one of you clicking on my thumbnails and watching my videos. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.